On this week's episode of A Drier Dose of Disney, Jared highlights the best foods and places to eat at downtown Disney in Anaheim. Welcome to another episode of A Drier Dose of Disney. I'm your host, Jared Dreyer. Today, we are on episode three of an 11-part series where we are talking about food at the Disney and Universal Parks. And today, we are going to go to downtown Disney in Anaheim. So episode one, we started at Disneyland, and we had some special guests, and we talked through a lot of different foods that are out there that are great. So if you haven't had a chance to listen to that Disneyland episode yet, we do encourage you to go check that one out. And then last week, we covered California Adventure and some of the great food items that we've had there. And today, we're just going to come right out of the gates and the entrance of those parks and walk right on over to downtown Disney because there are some great food items there as well. And in fact, the way that my family likes to vacation when we go to Disneyland in Anaheim is we will stay very close to the resorts. But on that day that we fly in, we're not going to spend money for a park admission on that day just because we know we can't get our money's worth out of a half a day or less at the Disneyland or California Adventure Park. So what we like to do is we like to come in and go to downtown Disney. We are already immersed in that Disney atmosphere and environment. We get some great foods over there and we can start our shopping early, but we like to knock out downtown Disney on our arrival day and just really kick off our vacation in the right spirit of Disney and get things going. So we're gonna highlight for you today some of the best foods that we've had there, the best places to eat, And normally I go through our disclosure and tell you that, hey, we're going to skip over the hamburgers, the hot dogs, the chicken nuggets, and the pizza because every Disney park has those. Downtown Disney is actually a little bit different. Since we're outside of the park, these restaurants are unique enough, which means that you are going to get different foods at these restaurants than what you would get inside of the parks. So we are going to cover a lot of those for you today. Our second disclosure that we like to give everyone is that it is impossible for us to eat every single food item out there, as well as go to every single restaurant. So if you have some food items that we missed, we apologize. But if you think that they're fantastic, hop on to our Facebook page over at A Dryer Dose of Disney and send us a message and let us know. And then we will be sure to go get those checked out on our next visit and hopefully include those on a future update episode, because we will be updating these episodes as the parks evolve and change. One thing you guys know for Disney parks is change is constant. They are always improving on their parks and always expanding their parks. So we will have to do update episodes on the food. So we want to include the items that you found that we did not include. So shoot us a message over on our Facebook page at A Dryer Dose of Disney, and we will include those on our future podcast. Finally, we want you to subscribe. So wherever you're listening to us, click that subscribe button. That way you're notified whenever we drop an episode, which is every single Tuesday. And you will be first in line to find out what's going on with our podcast and some of the cool things we're doing. And that's totally free to click subscribe. In addition to that, if you found a tip or trick that saved you some time or money, we ask, hop on over to Patreon. And actually, if you go to our show notes, wherever you're listening to this podcast, or if you're on YouTube, you will find the link to our Patreon and you can contribute a couple dollars there. And if you become a subscriber, you're going to get access to our Butterbeer episode and how to go to Disney for almost free episodes. And those are some great exclusive content for you to save some money right now. So we want to encourage you, please support us out there and that'll help us keep this podcast going. But with that, let's go ahead and dive right into downtown Disney and talk about the best places to eat. And today, because we like doing so many snacks at downtown Disney, I'm going to start with snacks. These are some of the best snacks I've had at any of the parks that are out there. And in fact, our number one is probably one of my favorite things. And anytime someone tells me they're going to Anaheim, I'm going to tell them our number one snack you have to do. You need to go get it every single time. So you're definitely going to want to find out what that is when we get to our number one. But starting with number five, this is kind of an ironic one because I'm going with a chain based uh, snack out there. And that is Wetzel's Pretzels. And you all know what Wetzel's Pretzels is if you have traveled anywhere uh, because they're in a lot of malls. They are in a lot of airports. But hey, they're one of our favorite go-to snacks and they've got them all over downtown Disney. And in fact, the ones that we like are their cinnamon sugar bites. And we will get a cup of those cinnamon sugar bites and walk around downtown Disney and share those with one another as a sweet little treat. We love those to death. So Wetzel's Pretzels 
made the list just because they are so good and we love the quality of those little pretzel bites everywhere that we go. Number four on our list is one that you guys would probably debate should be higher up on the list, but I'll explain why it's not. And that is salt and straw ice cream. So if you've not had salt and straw ice cream, they have very unique flavors. They are all very good. In fact, I've never had one that I didn't enjoy, but they have combination flavors. So instead of your typical vanilla chocolate, you're going to get something more like a caramel and pretzel sea salt type of ice cream over at Salt and Straw. So they have very unique flavors. I've heard of wasabi flavors. I've heard of cheesecake flavors. I've heard of them all. And every single one that we've tried is really good. So we definitely encourage you go to Salt and Straw and check those out over there. But the reason it didn't make higher on my list is because there are a lot of people that like the traditional type of ice cream or are not prone to those type of unique flavors. Now, don't get me wrong. They're usually going to have some kind of chocolate explosion type flavor that's going to be brownie and chocolate chip or something like that. That is really good. And you can always go try that out. But some of those more unique ones aren't everyone's palate and they're not something that everybody likes to enjoy. So Salt and Straw, know that they've got some great ice creams. It's a fun time to go check out what flavors they have because they are changing them all the time. But know that they're not going to be everyone's favorite, especially the little kids. When we take our daughter there, she typically doesn't love anything over at Salt and Straw. And we take her to our number one place then instead, which has become our favorite place as well. So we will get there in just a moment. But our number three on the list, and this one is partly ran by Disney. And in fact, it has almost all Disney candies in it is Marceline's Confectionery. And this is right in the heart of downtown Disney. But when you go in there, you're going to be able to get your caramel apples, your fudges, your Disney candies. And my personal favorite are those fudges. They have a cookies and cream fudge. They've got a peanut butter fudge. Those fudges are just to die for. So if you absolutely love fudge, you need to go check out the confectionery in the middle of downtown Disney. And again, these are the same kind of treats you're going to find in the parks. Uh, so that's why we love it. Is it. It's a great way for us to start our vacation feeling like we're already in the parks by starting at the confectionery and getting some fudge. Now, because we are eating our way through downtown Disney, what we usually do is we will buy a one or two pieces of fudge. We will wrap them up because they come in a paper bag. We will put them into my wife's purse. We will continue to shop and walk around. And then when we get back to the hotel, that becomes a late night snack for us. And especially that cookies and cream one, that one's fantastic. It is worth, if you can find a spot, pick up some milk to go with it. It's even better then. But Marceline's Confectionery is a great place to go. And number three on our list of snacks. Our number two place is no stranger to Disney, both at Downtown Disney and Disney Springs in Orlando, is Sprinkles Cupcakes. And if you have not had a Sprinkles Cupcakes, you are missing out. These cupcakes are absolutely phenomenal. They have uh, very similar to a crumble cookie. They've got their staple cupcakes that are always available, and then they rotate through some seasonal ones. But these cupcakes are covered in some great cream cheese frosting. So if you like that cream cheese frosting or, or buttercream type frosting as well, they've got those options for you, and they are so good over at Sprinkles Cupcakes. In fact, when we go to Disney Springs in Orlando, we will talk to you guys about this one again, and we will talk to you guys about the vending machine that they have down there where you can buy the cupcakes through the vending machine. I'm not familiar if Anaheim has the vending machine or not. I've not seen it there. It may be there though. So don't quote me on that, but Sprinkles cupcakes are fantastic. And we definitely recommend go get a Sprinkles cupcake. Definitely share it with somebody because they are very sweet, but they are so good. And my personal favorite is the red velvet one. Sprinkles cupcake is number two on our list. Our number one place is by far my go-to for any snack at uh, Anaheim if I'm at downtown Disney. This is where I'm going to make a beeline every single time. It's going to be the first place I'm going to try to go to just because I love it so much. And that is Black Tap Shakes. And if you have not had a Black Tap Shake, you are missing out. These shakes are the size of my head and I've got a very large head. So you can tell that these are huge shakes and they're usually topped with something like a piece of cheesecake or a huge cupcake on top and tons of whipped cream, tons of sprinkles. Our personal favorite is the Fruity Pebble one. If you like that fruity, sugary flavor, they've got a great Fruity Pebble one with a piece of cheesecake on top that is just awesome. It is so good. They are great to share. So what we usually do is with three of us, we will buy two shakes and we will share the two shakes. And that way we get to try a couple different ones, but it'll 
take all three of us to eat the two shakes and then we're on a sugar overload for the next hour or so. And as you can tell, a lot of these, even Wetzel's pretzels, I talked about doing the cinnamon and sugar one. A lot of these are very sweet. So you may not be able to do them all on one trip. So you may need to pop into downtown Disney a couple times on your vacation in order to knock these all out because it is so much sugar. It is so good though. Black Tap Shakes is our number one spot. They have the best treats over there at downtown Disney. I will tell you all day long, go get Black Tap Shakes. And I'm going to give you a secret on Black Tap Shakes here in just a few moments when we talk about our I can do this all day tip of the day. Now that we've talked about our top five snacks, let's go over to the restaurant side of it and talk about the top five restaurants that we have found at downtown Disney. And starting at number five is the Catal restaurant. And this is your traditional type of steakhouse that's there at downtown Disney. It is out of all the ones on the list, it is probably number one for the fine dining type experience. We do have a couple others that are very nice on the list and one that gets up there as well. But Catal is probably your nicest restaurant in downtown Disney. But this is where you're going to get a steak. You're going to get the pork chop. You're going to get something meaty, something really nice there. We like it. We enjoy it. But typically when we go to downtown Disney, thinking about meats or steaks is not on the top of our list. We're usually looking for something a little more unique that we can't get at home. And for most of us and most of our listeners, I'm guessing you've got a really good steakhouse close to your house at home. So keep that in mind. Catal is a great place to go. Great food, great environment. It's an awesome restaurant. But if you've already got a steakhouse at home, I would encourage you to go to one of our other top four locations, which is why Catal's number five. Okay. Knowing that, let's move on to number four, and that is Naples Restaurante and Pizzeria. This one is also very good. It has your traditional Italian fare. You're going to be able to get spaghetti, the, the lasagna, the pizzas. They're all wood fired in their oven there. The pizzas are really good. So I do encourage you check out the pizza. Uh, my wife's favorite is the one with the mushrooms. That one's very good. They, the taste and the flavors are so good at the Naples Restaurante. So I definitely recommend that. But similar to our last uh, restaurant on number five, the steakhouse, you may have an Italian restaurant close to your house. You may have an Olive Garden or Macaroni Grill close by. This is going to be very similar to a macaroni grill with the wood-fired pizzas uh, as an additional item there. So Naples Restaurante is good. We've been there a couple times. We definitely enjoy it. I would encourage you guys to check it out if you like Italian food. But if not, we've got three other great places on the list. So let's go to number three. And this is a newer place out in the center of downtown Disney. And that is the UVA Bar. And it is a bar, which is ironic. It is right in the center circle when you get in there. You can see it's right over by Black Tap, by the confectionery, some of the others. There is a seating area right in the middle with umbrellas and the bar is in the middle. That is the UVA bar. But they have got some great appetizers as well as some small meals that you can eat there. And the food there is phenomenal. So we definitely recommend UVA bar. And it's a great offset if you want to do some food, but also some snacking with some of the treats that are out there. I will tell you, go to UVA, go pick up an appetizer, share it. Maybe get a small plate and eat some of the other items that are there. Get some of that savory into your system, but then go over to Black Tap. It's right next door. And then you can go get yourself a nice uh, shake over there. So UVA bar though, the food is good. I've never had a bad thing there. It's a little bit lighter to eat, which is nice, but the food is awesome. Number two on my list for top restaurants over at Downtown Disney is Tortilla Joe's. And if you have not been to Tortilla Joe's, you are definitely missing out. This is a great Mexican restaurant. It is closer to the Disneyland Hotel side of things. And it is just really good, especially their pork carnitas. If you have not had pork carnitas, uh, the pulled pork that they make there for their tacos and burritos is just phenomenal. And Tortilla Joe's is a great atmosphere. It's a fun place to go to. The food is all amazing. But again, like our number four, number five, being the Italian, being the steakhouse. If you have a Mexican food restaurant nearby, I would tell you go to our number one instead because these are all going to be very similar, though the quality of the food is phenomenal over at Tortilla Joe's. Our number one place, and again, the reason this is number one is because it is a unique place, it is a fun place, is Ralph Brennan's Jazz Kitchen. I have eaten there multiple times. I will continue to go there almost every single time I go to downtown Disney. 
And the reason is, is I really love New Orleans style food. And I love things like jambalaya. I love crawfish. I love the beignets. I love all of that. And you're going to find that over at the Jazz Kitchen. Not only is the food, though, incredible and so good and so flavorful, but the environment is a lot of fun. Being a jazz kitchen, they have music usually playing. They'll have live music on the piano up front. It's just a great environment. So if you want a nice place to eat, Ralph Brennan's will accomplish that for you. If you want an entertaining place to eat, Ralph Brennan's will also accomplish that for you. If you want something unique that you probably don't have close by at home, Ralph Brennan's Jazz Kitchen, place to go. I don't know many places that have a New Orleans style food close to their general shopping areas. There are a couple small restaurants out there today that serve that type of food, but there's no really large upscale restaurants that have that type of food that are readily available in almost every single city across the nation. So that's why it's number one on my list is not only is the food great, but it's probably something you don't have at home that I would encourage you to go check out, try some of their food over at the Jazz Kitchen and fall in love with it the exact same way that we have. That now that we've covered our top five restaurants and our top five foods at Downtown Disney brings me to the I can do this all day tip of the day, which is a lot of these places also have walk up windows. Okay, so when you're out there and you're walking around, you don't necessarily have to have the reservation. A lot of these places have windows that you can walk up to and order food directly from the window and take it and walk away and maybe go back to your hotel or somewhere else. In fact, that is my recommendation over at Black Tap Shakes is they have walk-up windows, go to the window, hardly anyone's ever in line usually, at least the times that we've been there. You can order your shake, you can walk away with it in about two or three minutes, go find a place to sit out in the sun, go enjoy the California environment and the outdoor air and go eat your Black Tap Shake. You do not have to go inside of every single restaurant to enjoy these things. You can usually walk up and get it at counter service and take it away. So that is our I can do this all day tip of the day is a lot of these places, in, including the restaurants, have walk up windows that you can go order this food and take it with you instead of having to uh, fight for the reservation over there. So with that, those are our best places to eat in downtown Disney. I encourage you to check out the Black Tap Shakes. Check out the Jazz Kitchen. Those are the best foods in downtown Disney that we recommend. And have a great day, and we will talk to you guys next time as we go through Universal Studios. Bye-bye.